Hey, Minton, what can I help you with today? Well, Lisa, um, you've been teaching us about primary vibes and keywords and um, how to make our own decks and the importance of questions. But then I take out my deck and I'm still not sure what to do. Can you give me something to get me started? I sure can, Mitten. Uh, let's take a look at a couple ways to use a three card line. Now remember the statement from the question video. Your interpretations start with your question, not the cards. Yes. Yeah, well, let me demonstrate what I mean by that. Groovy. I'll wait over here. Okay, now, I read all three and five card lines in one of two ways. Either sequentially, as in this happens and then this and it winds up here, you know, like a story, often called a narrative reading. Or I read them descriptively where all the cards are used to describe something. And this is often where I use a center um, card focus, you know, as a, as a focus card. So let's take a look at an example of each, shall we? All right, so this is gonna be the first question. Wait, hang on, let's do it this way. Let me zoom. There we go, oh, look at that. Okay, so this is a descriptive reading with a center card focus. So now, um, Beaker is my dog, okay? He's my Beagle Cocker, that's why I named him Beaker. Beagle Cocker, get it? Okay, so anyway. Can you tell I love Muppets, my puppets? Okay, so anyway, um, the first thing I do is I decide, you know, what information I'm seeking, and then I formulate my question. So I write it down, and then because I am connecting with an animal, I uh, take a few deep breaths and I breathe into my heart chakra and I expand it, I blow it out. I imagine, my, you know, my heart chakra is, is green and I imagine as I'm breathing into it, it's this green bubble that's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and then I invite him into it. Now that is how I perform all of my animal communication readings. That's the start, okay? So I do that with the cards too. So I invite him in, I imagine my heart connected to his heart I ground and center myself. My mind is clear now. I then ask the cards to be clear and precise and only provide me with the information I'm seeking at the present moment. Now these steps help to ground me and enable me to focus. And if you're into all that kind of stuff, you're going to love my upcoming uh, video on focus tips. Anyway, so I asked, what is Beaker, Beaker's favorite pastime? And I got, wait, where are those cards? Oh, here they are. And I got these three cards. Okay, now remember, this is, this is center card focus. No, wait, let me, <laughs> I'm trying to keep everything so you guys can see it, because that's, I know, that's been a problem for me. All right, that's good, huh? Okay, oh, these are my um, Thelema. These are my Thelema Lenormand cards, okay? All right, so I asked, again, what is Beaker's favorite pastime? Now, a lot of you may right away say, oh, he, he loves trees, and <laughs> what dog doesn't? He's a male, too, he loves peeing on trees, and he loves to chase birds and trees or whatever, but you have to keep going back to your question and remember how you intended to read this. Center card focus. So, we have to keep going back to that original statement. Start with our question rather than the cards, okay? Our interpretations start with our question, not the cards. So keep going back to that question. All right, center card focus. Now, this, this made me laugh, of course, because this is so beaker. I mean, what does this card mean? This is that, a flutter card, right? It's, it's getting everything done in the day. It's flitting here and there. It's, it's, you know, it's hectic. It's exciting. It's chaos. It's all that, right? 
So that is him. I mean, I haven't had a second alone since I rescued this dog. He's constantly at my feet, constantly following me around. He wants to be part of everything. And the more chaos, you know, he's, he's my grooming shop mascot. You know, the more chaos, the, the more he's, he's right in the middle of it. He loves it, okay? So that was very apropos, that card. Um, all right, so he also loves to vocalize. I mean, he's half beagle, so, you know, they all love to, to talk. All right, so he wants to be part of my day-to-day -day activities. Now, because this is center card focus and it's a descriptive reading, these cards are going to further describe this card, okay? So we have the ship here. Now, what is the ship? The ship is adventure. The ship is distance, um, uh, foreign, like, you know, going foreign places, places he's never been. Um, it's also the car, okay? <laughs> so what does he want to do? Center card focus. He wants to be part of the chaos, the excitement. He wants to flit here and there with me and do everything I'm doing and be part of that, me, 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 okay? He wants to to uh, go on adventures and, and go in the car, and that ties into this. That is further describing this, okay? Now, the last card here, remember, this is not a sequential reading. This is a descriptive reading, so this card further describes this one. Now, what you could say right away is this card is sort of the opposite of these two, right? This is going places, this is not. This is flitting all over and chaos. This is kind of boring and patient and calm and rooted and all of that. So what does that tell you? This is important information because as it describes this, it brings it down a notch, okay? So that's saying that even though he wants to be part of the day-to-day -day excitement, he's not over the top, you know, and he's not. He's this takes it down to he still wants to do these things in a calmer way and he still at the end of the day you know he still enjoys being rooted being a rooted part of this family okay so i've got to stop saying okay don't i hey. Anyway, um, I got to stop saying anyway, too. All right, shut up, Lisa. <laughs> so that, that does kind of take that down a notch. So that is very important information. And also, you know, this is a dog I, I rescued off of death row. So this is the card of life, is it not? We could just say his favorite pastime is just being alive. And that, that still connects to these. So remember, these cards connect to this one. These cards describe this one. This one is giving a descriptive answer to my question. These are further describing it. If this was a sequential reading, it would be totally different, wouldn't it? It would be like going from good to, to worse or, or going from movement to stillness, but that's not what it is. So we have to constantly refer back to our question. Our interpretations start with our question, not the cards. Yee! Okay, so let's go to the second question. The second question, how can I, oh, wait, hang on. There we go. All right. The second question is one that I um, performed. This was a, a part of a reading I did for somebody about a year ago. It's a, a, a client I just saw, so it rem she reminded me of it, and she, she's a uh, client in my grooming shop. All right, so the question was initially, what will the outcome of the dog adoption application be for Jay? All right, now, when she came to me, she originally asked, will I, will I be approved, you know? So she, like most people, asked a yes, no question, and I, of course, changed it around. It's still the same question, but now it's, it's worded better for the cards. All right, so now this is a sequential reading. So remember, we're going from left to right. Now, the first thing you want to notice is that we're going from a negative card to a positive neutral to a positive. So already we're seeing something good here, aren't we? So don't fall into the trap of thinking that this card showed up just because you're asking about a dog adoption. 
And I think that's a, a very common problem is people think the cards show up just to tell you that they hear you or whatever. Now, this is not a grand tableau. You only have three cards on the table. Every card has something to say. Cards are not gonna show up to say, oh, is this what you're asking about? No. All right, so get that out of your head right now. Every card has something to say. So, what we can say about these cards is the application process starts with a burden, right? The cross is a card of, of the um, burden. Now, the reason, again, that I want to reiterate that statement of the interpretation starts with the question, not the cards, is because these three cards can send new readers in all sorts of directions, right? They, they start out with their question, what will the outcome of the dog adoption be? And, and the first card down is the cross, and right away they're thinking, oh no, you're not gonna get it. <laughs> no, you're asking, first of all, um, you're asking a sequential question. So that's just the first card. That's where the story begins. It's not where the story ends. This is where the story ends in a sequential reading. So, now, in um, a dog adoption case, or animal adoption cases, right, it's kind of like a test, right? You have the burden of proof. You have to prove that you are, um, you know, good enough to adopt this animal, right? So, what they do, and I know this because I used to do it, <laughs> they start by looking for any reason not to adopt out the animal to you. So they're, they're testing you in a sense, right? They're looking for any problems right off the bat. So that's that burden, burden of proof, okay? Now, what does the dog tell you following the cross? Well, now you have a card of, of loyalty, of um, dependability, of support. Um, what else can we say about the dog, you know? Um, but we're going from, from bad to better, all right? So things are already looking better for this application, okay? So they're seeing her now as, you know, okay, she's gonna be a good friend to this dog. She's gonna support this dog. She's going to be loyal and faithful to it and all of that, okay? So that's where this is heading now. And then we get to the star, right? So the star is a card of success. And that's where the story is ending. So the story, the, the star, the, the, <laughs> the star tells us that something is crystallizing, right? Something is taking shape, that um, things are going in a do, new direction. So they're going from looking at ways to deny her to, you know what, she's looking pretty good. So let's see, how can we approve her? Now this isn't the sun and it's not the key. So it's not, a definite like oh it's it's a done deal but it's it's a, a new direction and something is is crystallizing it's just taking shape so in in this case I remember saying oh it's looking very good and it looks like you're gonna get the dog but they may still ask you for more uh, proof for more documentation that kind of thing and that's exactly what happened because she was new in the state um, she was renting, they couldn't get a hold of her landlord right away, and what else was it? I, I guess they just wanted more documentation and, and things like that. So it did take a bit longer. Oh, they did, a, uh, they did a home visit too, which they couldn't do for, for a week. So that was really um, what that was about. But, um, but what did I tell her? I said, oh, it's looking good. Looks like you're gonna get it, and, and she did. All right, so now that is a sequential reading. So there, there you have it. I wanted to keep this video short and sweet, and I hope um, my babbling <laughs> didn't get in the way of that. <laughs> I'll try to keep myself in check, but um, I hope this was helpful, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.